All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again for another review. We're going to be talking about a vapey mod today. What we're going to be talking about is this guy right here. Now, this, this just surprised the hell out of me. Right out of the gate, let's just get that out of the way. This surprised the hell out of me. I did not, not have high hopes for this mod at all. This is the Rev GTS 230-watt box mod, and I've been having a real great time with it. Topped right now with that Fire Luke mesh sub -ohm tank coil head sub ohm tank this is an incredibly comfortable mod to hold it feels incredibly well built and it's got a really nice cool display but in order to get to know this mod just a little bit better what we're going to do is go up close as we often do yeah quick short up and closey time boom <clears throat> All right, yeehaw. Well, this is the RevTech GTS 230 watt box mod. Got it topped with the Fire Luke mesh tank right here, and it's a spring loaded 510 pin underneath. And you can kind of see that the top of this is rounded. So even this 24 millimeter tank, yeah, there's a little bit of a gap right there just because the top of this is rounded. It sits flush all the way around, but if you get it at a certain angle, you can kind of see, boom, right there. Just a tiny little gap. And this is 24 millimeters, so if you had something bigger on here, like a 25 millimeter atomizer, it's going to overhang even more. The textured door on the back just feels very nice and grippy. This is a metal door. This is a very solid metal door that's held on with authority by three magnets right there. When this goes on, Boom, it's on and it's good. No play, up, down, side to side, all good. Buttons down the side, fire button, up, down buttons, and the menu button. And just by tapping the menu button, you can go through all the colors of the display. You can change it from purple to green to yellow and blue and orange and red and everything in between. I tend to leave it on red or white just because I think that looks the coolest. So like I said, you can press the menu button and cycle through the colors or you can hold the menu button down and go into the main menu system. And this menu system, eh, probably isn't the best. You navigate it up and down by these, and then you use the fire button to make your selection. So if you go into color mode, you can do a roundabout way of changing the colors through the menu system. So we turn it back to red, we go back to the menu. This part is the most confusing part to me, the dashboard. You get this weird menu with A, B, and pluses and ups, and if you push up, yeah, it changes the way your display looks, right? And you get to choose up or down between these two displays. You get one that looks like this with the batteries going up and you get one that looks like this with the batteries going sideways. As far as I can tell, those are your only two menu option, you know, those are your only two display option changes that happen in there. But you pick your one to like, I like this one, so we press the fire button and then you can hold the menu button to get completely back out of it again and you're back at the main menu. Or not the main menu, you're back at your main vaping screen. Three clicks locks it, one, two, three, and it's locked, one, two, three, and it's unlocked. And this is something that you really never get to see when you're using it because you're holding it so close to your face but the speedometer moves when you press the button. You see that? I have it set to 50 watts and the little, the little arm there goes up to 50 watts right there. And this down here shows you how long one, two, three. Oh God, I'm burning my coils. But overall, this is a beautiful, beautiful display and it just feels so nice in the hand. But there's really not a whole hell of a lot to see up close and personal. So we're gonna get back out to normal view. We're gonna vape this guy. So yeah, there's not a whole lot to see up close and personal with this mod. The one thing about this mod that you can't really portray on video is how durable it feels, how solid it feels, and how comfortable it feels in the hand. Overall, I'm not a huge fan of this like uh, speedometer style display. I'm not a car guy, so that doesn't really appeal to me on a very deep level. But with that said, it's a beautiful display. It just looks nice, looks crisp, and and colorful. You can change the colors on here to kind of be whatever you want. It's got this really small little nice and clicky textured fire button over here that I have no problems finding. I can vape this. I like to hold my mods in my palm like this and hit the button with my finger like 90% of the time. If I can do that with a mod, I really enjoy it. I can easily, easily do that with this mod. 
And alternatively, it's really comfortable to just flip it around and hit this with your thumb right here. I feel like this really caters to both left and right hand users. Of course, if you're a left hander and you wanna hit the button with your thumb, then the display is going to be facing away from you. But it's not gonna be any less comfortable in the hand, it just, feels nice in the hand. And I know I'm gonna sound like I'm repeating myself, but it's just really well put together. It feels like a high, high quality mod. And not a high quality mod in the sense that, oh, it's a mech mod that's made out of rhodium that costs $400. And not high end in the sense that, oh, it's a box mod made of stabilized wood that costs $300. It feels high quality in the sense that this feels like a piece of technology. The way everything is put together, the way it feels, the way the screen is on there, even the way this battery door, which is, well, I mean, this is a thick, thick metal back door. The way the door just kind of snaps on there and there's no play. Up or down, left to right, those magnets hold this door in place flawlessly. The back has this really great textury finish on it. Now I'm a simple vapor. I vape wattage mode or I vape bypass mode, but this has the ability to do all temperature control stuff. It has six custom TCR, you know, memory setting functions on there as well. And you can run it in bypass and you can run it in wattage. I'm a simple vapor, so I've just been running it in wattage because that's how I like to vape. And if you're a low, low builder, this will fire down to a 0.08 resistance. Now the one bummer thing about this, and this is just a personal gripe nitpick on my end, is it adjusts in 0.1 watt increments. And as far as I know, there's no way to change that. I love having the ability to adjust in one watt increments. I want to go from 59 to 60 watts with one button press instead of 10. But that is a very, very small gripe on an otherwise really stellar mod. Maybe some slight vape budget hands needed. I found this around the internet. I found it over on VaporDNA.com for $74.99, which I feel like for this quality of a mod is a really good deal. I can't stress that enough. This isn't like a Chinese basilisk mod that you're gonna drop and it's gonna break. I don't know how durable this front plastic panel is on here. I've dropped it a few times. Let's just give it a drop test real quick right now. Okay, bye. Battery came out and the door came off, but the screen is intact. One, two, three, four, five. Fires right back up, no problem. I know I haven't handed out a lot of banana stickers lately and I think I'm gonna bring that back because this mod absolutely deserves a banana sticker. It is a spectacularly well-made, well-put-together, well-thought-out mod and it's just, I can't stress this enough, the overall build quality of this mod is awesome. Okay, enough of me gushing about it. I'm gonna put some links down in the description to where you can check this out. It's coming very highly recommended. If you are in the market for a new dual 18650 regulated mod that does wattage and temp control and bypass, has a very cool screen and a very easily accessible clicky button, then the Rev GTS could be what you're looking for. I would give this a strong look and a strong consideration. And I know that the styling of this, the display on this, isn't gonna to appeal to everybody. This is one of the few mods that have come out in the vape industry that actually feels like a nice piece of technology you're holding in your hands, rather than just like a plastic box with batteries in it. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm getting too rambly already, but that's what I got, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.